So today we are making this cutie, the one, the only, Venomoth. Venomoth is one of my favorite Pokemon and I love this cake so let's get started. It's oddish, I know, I'm just, I wanted to see how many of you would be like furiously typing in the comments, that's not Venomoth. And then there's like the few of you who didn't even know that this was a Pokemon, you just thought it was like a flower creature. I love oddish, I like gloom, I like bile plume, um, but I love ba Belosum. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I've only seen that name written before. Now this cake is actually pretty easy to make. Now before we even start the cake part, we're gonna be working with some green gum paste. Now this is sort of like a Sun Valley green, I think. Yeah, it's a really nice green. I'm using gum paste because I was kind of terrified that this was gonna collapse on me if I didn't use something that would get super hard. I think adding CMC turns fondant into gum paste, I think, I don't know. But I just use gum paste to be sure. I'm rolling this out with my small fondant roller and I'm actually not rolling it flat. I'm making it so that the center of this is thick and it gets thinner the further out I roll it. So it's not super thick and because it's so thin on the edges it looks like a real leaf. I'm gonna insert some dowels into the middle of my leaf. And because the gum paste is so thick here, it will support the dowel. It also makes the leaves look more realistic because they're not completely flat. Now using an X-Acto knife, I'm just going to cut out the shape of a leaf. And I'm not using a template here because I want the leaves to all look a little different. I just made sure that the leaf in the middle is actually the widest. Now I'm going to give it a little texture with a fondant tool. Then I place it onto a cake board and let it set for two days. Now in hindsight, I should have made it so that the leaves weren't completely flat on the cake board. That way it would give this like illusion of movement. But I didn't, and that's fine too. Now I'm just gonna let these set for about two days, two, three days, maybe even a week. This is a major part of Otters, so if these leaves fell apart, because they were not set, I would be so sad. Now to create this cake, I used a six inch dome mold. And I'm taking the dome cake pan that I used and lining it with some cling wrap. I'm gonna place my chocolate cake back inside the dome and then ice the middle of it with buttercream. If I were to do this without the dome, the cake would kind of flatten out on the cake stand. And I wanted to make sure that I kept the rounded shape. I'm gonna place my second chocolate cake on top and I'm gonna cover it with some buttercream. Just give it a crumb coat. I place this into the fridge to set and while it's setting I'm going to have a little conversation with you about Maruink. A lot of you have been asking who Maruink is and why there's so many Spanish comments in the comment section. Now Maruink is a Spanish comedian YouTuber from Mexico who tries to recreate my cakes. She's recreated Pennywise and Annabelle and my unicorn and a whole bunch of other things. Really hard you guys, she's not a baker but she tries super hard. Now while she's recreating the cake, she talks about me and she calls me Nino Prodig... Hold on. Nino Prodig... Prodigio. Is it good? No. So a lot of her subscribers came and subscribed to me. That's why there's a whole bunch of Spanish comments. And that's also why when I watch YouTube videos now, I get Spanish commercials because they think I speak Spanish. Now let's get back to the cake. Now after my cake finished setting, I took it out and then I turned it over. And I gave the other side of the cake a crumb coat. This method was a little messy, but it really did keep the sphere shape. I'm gonna flip it over, give it another crumb coat, and just fix a little bit. You know, it's really funny, because I was confused with Mariwink in the beginning, but now, like, we're friends. And we're also enemies. And she's my nemesis. But also, we're friends. You know, but she talks crap about me sometimes. <laughs> I know she's just joking. And I love her. Now I'm gonna cover this cake with a very large piece of electric blue fondant, which is actually just Royal Blue Wilton's fondant, but I lightened it up with a little bit of white fondant. I've talked about this before, I hate covering sphere cakes with fondant, and this was no exception. It's terrible. It tears at the bottom, there's a lot of fondant at the bottom, but there's a little cake. How? Why? No. Why do I keep doing this? I did it with a Jigglypuff cake, and I didn't like it then. I did it with this cake, and I don't like it now. I, what else? What other cake did I do? 
I didn't like it any of those times either. If you're looking for a tutorial on how to cover a sphere cake, this is not the place for you. <laughs> this video is just watching a frustrated boy try to make a Pokemon. That's it. Look at the bottom, you see all the cracks? Man, I ain't even worried about it. Y'all already saw the final picture. You know this looks dope, so. This part looks terrible, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna place this back into the fridge so that the frosting can just stay stiff. And I'm gonna start to work on all of Oddish's features. Now the way I'm gonna create his mouth, first I'm gonna start with a round cookie cutter. I'm using some crimson red fondant as well as some, this color is literally called, I pink I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I'm gonna add a little bit of magic sauce to my crimson fondant and attach my pink fondant. Now using a template, I'm gonna create Oddish's mouth and just cut out the shape with an X-Acto knife. Now to create his eyes, I'm covering some crimson fondant with cling wrap. And I'm gonna take a cookie cutter and just cut out two eye shapes. Now if you do this with cling wrap, it actually rounds the surface of the eye so it's not completely flat. I actually learned that from somebody who wrote it in the comments. I don't remember who it was. I don't even remember what video it was posted in, but you know who you are and you are a savior, okay? <laughs> you saved me so much time. Now using a little bit of magic sauce, I'm adding some red details to the bottom of the eyes and some white catch lights with a little bit of white fondant to the top. Now I wanted this to have several catch lights so I'm adding two tiny dots of white to the bottom of the eyes to get a little bit more sparkle. If you want to help support the channel you can purchase this awesome shirt as well as a whole bunch of other original designs in my Quali Pop store. Not only do you get some awesome merch but all the proceeds help me keep this channel going. It's like a train and all the money is like coal and I'm shoveling the coal into the fire so that the train keeps going. You know, that's what's happening right now. <laughs> they actually sent me the wrong size, which is why this shirt is like hugging my body. But I emailed them, so I get two shirts and I'm giving this one to my mommy. I'm gonna place two large pieces of blue fondant to create Oddish's feet. I didn't shoot myself creating this pieces, or I did, maybe? I couldn't find the footage and I shot this cake like in 2000... Are we in 2018 or 17? Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't remember. They're pretty easy shapes, you guys. And very carefully, I'm just going to attach all of Oddish's leaves by plunging my dowels into the top of his head. They looking good, they looking flat though, but they looking good. Now with a little more magic sauce, I'm gonna stick his mouth on and then both of his eyes. Oh gosh. And voila, our adorable Eevee, Venomoth, Charizard, Mewtwo cake is complete. I love this cake. I love that the leaves didn't break. That's what's up. I love the shade of blue and I think that these are the cutest set of character eyes I've ever created. If you want to see more Pokemon cakes, I've got an entire playlist for you filled with my Pikachu cake, Snorlax, Jigglypuff. There's a whole bunch of characters and treats that will get you ready for a Pokemon themed party. Hit that notification button now, Dagnabbit. That way you'll be up to date on what I post in the community tab. You can be a part of certain videos and you can be notified when a video goes up on the channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!